Hi Sagittarius, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and I'm doing your reading again because it didn't work the other reading I just don't know, it wouldn't work uh, Sometimes you get this, so it's better to start all over again And um, welcome back if you are a Cyber Angel and thank you very much for your shares and your likes and welcome to the new viewers if you've just landed on the channel welcome and please uh, subscribe and hit the bell and on all uh, hit the bell first and then choose for all then you should be notified when I go live as I go live on Monday Friday uh, Wednesday and Friday um, <coughs> we are also in Leo and that means that the energy is fiery, passion, creative, logic and action. Well, we are in the summer holidays as we are in the Leo sign and that means that a lot of our passions will uh, can be uh, uh, that we can let our passion go in our hobbies and in uh, and perhaps in a new love and let's see what the cards are going to say perhaps me we might even celebrate something okay now um, if you uh, would like to have a one-on-one -on -one reading with me on extensive reading then please look below this video in the description box and there you will find all the information and in the top right hand corner if you click on that white circle with the eye it takes you to my website and there you can find all the different readings there will be a new type of reading added on this week and that will be the crystal ball reading the crystal ball reading is a reading with the crystal ball and the cards okay so let's get started with your reading first of all on Monday we have the King of Wands now he's not there but his, cro uh, his crown is this is to signify that the whole deck is feminine because in the rest of the cards you only see in nearly every card a moon um, and also um, females like the Hierophant is also a lady it is just emphasizing the feminine side and the woman with the, the, fem uh, the femininity within all of us whether we're woman or man because we stand uh, we both have two sides the masculine side and the feminine side our shadow side and our light side like night and day we can't do with one without the other so the king of wands is still here but it's just emphasizing that um, this deck is pointing out, highlighting the woman, the feminine side that is just as important as the man. And that's why one reason why I love this deck be besides the artistry. The King of Wands is somebody that is a man of s substance. He knows what he wants. He goes for it. Okay, he comes into action after thinking about it and strategically know how he's going to do it because that is his creativity and his logic, his coolness to get things right the first time. Now he has a passion for action and he doesn't take any BS from nothing or nobody. Okay, so if you are meeting the King of Wands, it could be in Aries, but don't exclude Leo or Sagittarius. So you could be right in your element on Monday, right? Because this is the King of Wands and this is a fire sign. You are a fire sign, Sagittarius, because this is your reading for the 20th to the 26th of July. 2020 and we are in Leo so this is a really you might be really hyped up at the moment or really busy in with actions um, because it is the fire month we are in Leo we've got the first card also a fire sign and you are a fire sign so you most probably will be in your element now it could be that you are meeting an, a fire sign particularly Aries because we've also got the two of cups you are emotionally definitely in balance on Monday and it seems on Wednesday 
so I think this is a good strong week for you you might have you might meet uh, like I said the king of wands but you could meet your soulmate it could even be um, an air sign or a water sign okay you are balanced emotionally and you might meet your soulmate this is a lot like the lovers card because the two of cups are emotions and emotions means passion means love and nurturing and taking care and also sexuality and sensuality but since you are so in balance you might be more nurturing or more emotional or you might even be more in tune with your emotions and your intuitiveness your spirituality this could be faith or spirituality as highly sensitive and you might be more in nurturing towards your partner whether it's a fire sign water sign or an air sign or any uh, or an earth sign for that matter you might be really close uh, close uh, coupled this week extra loving and passionate Wow certainly speaks in these two cards at the end of the week on Friday you have the Knight of Swords now this could be a Gemini a Libra or an Aquarian you could meet up with one of them if you're not hooked up then this could be your new partner because it's lying next to the two of cups you might meet your soulmate like I said but the nights always bring news so this could be good news on Friday because the whole week is already being positive and strong and you're in your element and at the weekend we've got the three of cups you're moving on from two to three celebrations with family and friends so this news will come through email text message or telephone cyber news Wow celebrations you might even get an invitation to a party party or you might might even make your own party it might be fantastic weather and you th say to your partner let's have a barbecue at the weekend and you're going to phone all these people um, and find <laughs> you know and people might phone you you might get good news about something or rather and you want to throw a party to celebrate the good news <coughs> so if you are asking a question uh, have I passed my exam am I pregnant highly most probably the answer will be yes in other words you are going to get something or something is going to happen that you've wished for for a long long time you might be getting engaged boom you might be getting married you might have put down a date and you are going to celebrate this date beautiful if you are getting married it uh, could be on Saturday as there are celebrations and a marriage is a celebration okay now you have the um, many paths a card and that is from the mystical uh, shaman oracle deck from Collet Baron Reed now it's beautiful it's, it looks like uh, paths uh, on the road but it, it looks like a beach I'm sorry but I see so much more in cards okay but this looks like roads and there's also roads crossing and it reminds me sometime, somehow or rather from cornfields different roads leading to different fields okay which path are you going to choose are you thinking about something you've got number 34 which is a 7 which is good luck and also reminds me a little bit of beach the road to the beach because here it is blue I don't know perhaps you might be celebrating at the beach let's see what um, this card really means and you can also see a spirit up in there a sort of uh, a body of a man if you can see it it's more difficult in this 
I hope you can see the, the shape or the shadow of a man. So you might be meeting a new man. If you are a lady or if you're a man, you might be meeting a new man that could be a partner in business or in your <coughs> social life. Excuse me. All paths lead to spirit. What you bring to your journey is what will determine if yours is a path of suffering, a path of wisdom, a path of bliss, or a path of loss. Consider the traveller who met two stonemasons. He asked one what he is doing, and the mason replies, I'm squaring out this stone. He asks the other who is doing the exact same thing and gets the reply. I'm building a cathedral. One man has a job, the other man has found his work and calling. He is part of the endeavour, much greater than himself. Be sure you pick a path with a heart. So, um, what I'm trying to, I'm getting messages here, obviously. We are talking about passion and you might have passed an exam or you might have chosen to get engaged or get married so you have chosen the, pa uh, the path of love and passion and nurturing and caring so doesn't matter what path you choose choose it wisely and choose it with love and passion then it is it doesn't look like if it's about a job then uh, if you do that with passion and love then you can nurture it and then it will be much more um, interesting and easier for you to work because then it just feels like a hobby the invitation or the suggestion your call now is to take a big bold step and leave the beaten path heaven and earth are conspiring on your behalf to support you in this move do not dally lest you miss the moment it's time to sail into the uncharted be sure you attend to both your path through this earth as well as your journey through the stars so mentally and physically you have a journey here on earth and it doesn't matter where you begin or where you end it is what you do on your journey whether it's spiritual or physical and that is a beautiful reading and I think you're go going on your path so long you choose it with your heart and passion you'll be on the right path and you can keep on celebrating and being thankful that you're on the right path follow your heart okay follow your heart that's all I'm saying I wish you loads of success and happiness and I hope you've enjoyed this reading. Take care, God bless and be blessed. And I hope to see you in the life. Please share and like. Thank you. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life. Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.